Imagine living in a country where there's less than 100,000 people. And this country is desperately on her knees, asking, basically begging for people to come in. And this is what they are saying. We are going to pay you just to come and settle in our country. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Akot TV. And if you're checking in for the very first time, it's your mama, Akot. And yes, 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 I am the immigration queen. Please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. Now, in today's video, my sons and daughters, we're going to focus on these three countries. Hmm? These three countries, they don't have people, they're begging. Please, God have mercy. Come and live in our country. Now, without, we're not wasting time. First country. Aliben, Switzerland. Aliben will pay a family of four up to 50,000 pounds because of their declining population. Aliben is basically a charming town in Switzerland. And the town is currently inviting people, inviting immigrants to move over there. And they're open to paying them. Not open, they're actually paying them. And the whole agenda is basically to increase on their population. If you are 45 years old, you'll be offered 20,000 Swiss franc or around $21,000 for moving and 10,000 Swiss franc or approximately $10,000 for moving with children. Now listen, these countries, some of them, they have these names that I cannot pronounce. So in case I pronounce any of these names wrongly, eh? bear with me. Don't go commenting and saying, ah, this is, mm -mm, mm -mm. just bear with me. Okay. I, I'm just, I'm going to put the words on the screen. Anyone that I'm not really, really sure on how to pronounce, I'm going to have it here on the screen so you can do it for yourself and make your own pronunciation. Okay. So we are not judging. I know you may say, oh mama, but you teach English. Yes, I do. But these countries, the names are not in English. So let's just move on. So listen, Aliban is basically saying, come live in our town. We are going to pay you. You can come with your wife. You can come with your husband. You can come with whoever you want to come with. Please even bring your children. And if you're bringing your children, we're going to pay you extra. Like what else would you ask for? I know some of you are so stuck. You're thinking, mm -mm, I made a decision. I'm going to move to Canada. Or I made a decision. I'm going to move to Australia. I'm not looking at anywhere else. What if it never happens? As much as you're saying positive vibes only. But how about, how about having an open mind? And then say, okay, listen, I'm not as comfortable in my country. So I'm open to opportunities. Hmm? I'm open to where fate will take me because sometimes God knows what is best for you. So when you get information, look into it. Where are your options? Go try it over there. I mean, these people, they don't even have people. huh? Go try it over there and then see how it works. And then while you are there, you still feel uncomfortable. You still feel itchy. You still want to move. It, it's fine. It's fine. Let's move on and talk about country number two. Pray this one. Pray this one. <laughs> it's in Italy, okay? It's in Italy. I hope you are able to pronounce the word. Please, if you can pronounce this word, put up your hand in the comment section. Put up your hand. I want to know. I want to see. Pray. Pray this one. In Italy, they will pay you up to $30,000 to move into their country. Why? For one simple reason. Because the whole population is old. They are all aging. Probably even the leaders. Even the leaders are probably old, okay? So this is what they are saying. Because our population is old we are inviting young blood fresh blood fresh blood could be in the likes of 40 years old 30 years old you know as long as you're energetic and you can get things done as long as you're energetic and you can father a child you're welcome to move to this town is it a town or is it a city really you guys it doesn't matter i'm giving information now you have an idea of what it is then you can of course go and do more research and, and make sure you find your way there okay for any reason someone is asking how do i get to move to that place how do I get to this place, mama? Comment below and ask me and then I'll make a whole video and explain to you step by step how you can go through your visa application and all those and all those nitty, 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 nitty gritty things. Okay, fine. So we have talked about this one and they're paying you up to $25,000 to just move there. And please, if you're starting to have this mind of, I will go, they pay me my $25,000, then I leave. Mm -mm. It will not work like that. It will not work like that. They pay you and you stay within the borders. And I know hmm? some, some, some humans, some humans will probably move to this place, get the money and then move on. Probably go back to their home country hey, and buy land. Please don't do that. Please do not do that. And if you do that, may the God I worship. See you. <laughs> so pray. Right. The population is growing old and they're looking for people and they're going to pay you up to 30,000 
dollars for you to move into this country. And here's what the local councillor is saying. Let me just read it. There are many empty homes in the historical center built before 1991, which we would like to see alive again with new residents. Local councillor Alfredo Palese tells CNN. So this is a serious thingy. Huh? Pray. They are looking for people. I need you to be open-minded. Check it out. And if it interests you, get into it. Get into it. Okay, go try it out. I mean, what do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? Go stay in prayer. If you still feel like mm, Canada is the dream destination, fine. You can still work out your ways from prayer and then move to... Sorry, I'm saying it's prayer because I don't know how to pronounce the, the, the name. So yeah, you can go stay in prayer and then work out your ways from prayer to move to Canada or America or Australia or maybe to Kenya, wherever you're trying to move to. Okay, it really doesn't matter because I know life is... We are all going in circles. We're all going in circles. Those in Nigeria want to move to America. Those in America want to move to Canada. Those in Canada, they're thinking about Australia. So really, at the end of the day, it's about where you feel comfortable. So I'm not here to tell anyone to leave their country, even if they're doing well. If you're doing well in your home country, please stay there and add on to the economy add on to the economy. There's no problem, okay? So I'm uh, advocating for people to go look for opportunities and then remember to go back home and, you know, you know, you know what I'm trying to say and build for their own home country, all right? Amen. Now, let's look at country number three, the Greek island of Antikythera. Antikythera, again, pronunciation, if I'm getting it wrong, you have the word here, you can read it. Amen? Amen. So the Greek island of Antikythera actually has less than 100,000 people living in this place. This island has less than 100 people living in this place. I'm like, what is it? Are they all virgins? Sorry to say, but I'm just asking. Where is everybody? Did everyone move out? Oh, is it a new island? Anyway, that is not for us to question. What we are here about is knowing there's an opportunity. There's a new place we can go to and then look for opportunities. And the best thing about this place is because there are no people, you have a chance to be a minister. You have a chance to be in the government because there's no one. So you're going to be amongst the people who are actually going to create the laws for this place. Because who is there? There's no one. So you move there, then you get these high top official government jobs. You make the rule. Hey? You'll be making what is called the rule of law. You run the economy. If you're in business, if you're in entertainment industry, this is your opportunity. Okay? You go be the premiers, the beginners, the founders, businesses, banks. This is your opportunity. And this is what these people are saying. They are going to pay you $500 every month if you move to this place. Ah, $500 every month that they're going to pay you. $500. I mean, I can say that 10 times. Who gets that opportunity? You get 500 every month for doing nothing, for just moving into this country. Huh? The island sits between Crete and Kitira in the Aegean Sea. <laughs> these words, these words. So that's how it is. You have three options. Where do you want to go? Every of these places I've mentioned, they have opportunities. The population is down there. And the ones with a little bit of population, everyone is growing old. And the ones which are almost, almost maybe doing better, there are no people. Imagine an island with less than 100,000 people. That's where everyone knows everybody. Okay? So I need you, my sons and daughters, to explore these opportunities. All right? This is a basic informational video. If you want to learn how to go about it, the process, visa, how long it's going to take, all you need to do is wink. No. All you need to do is comment below and ask me, Mama, I need to know how to move to this place. Then I'll make sure it's done. We've talked about three places. So which one do you want to go to? Do you want to find out about all the details? Do you want to know all the documents that you're supposed to have? Okay. Do you want to know the process? How to apply for the visas? Which websites to use? The actual links to click on? Do you want to know? I'm asking. Because again, I don't want to come out here and give information and give you things that you necessarily do not need. Okay. So we are only posting videos according to the needs. What do you need? Then you get that information. Okay. So comment below and let me know. But again, if you, you're fine, you're fine. You've got the information, it's, it, it's, you're not interested. That's okay as well, okay? Leave a red heart below there. At least you'll have shown some you know, appreciation for me sitting here and running my mouth. <laughs> you'll have shown some appreciation. And of course, other people who are outside there like you trying to find information will have access to this video. Remember, sharing is caring. That's what you're saying. Sharing is caring, okay? So now, the way we normally do it here, and without forgetting, we're keeping it positive vibes only, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all in the next one.